even though we've put in plywood, we put in uh, shear transfer ties or floor connectors, and we've also put in the bolts, there's something else that can cause uh, our shear wall to be damaged. So when you see the earthquake forces coming in from the left here, the shear wall is going to want to overturn, and this is it. It's trying to flip over like that. Very understandable that that would happen. So something needs to be done to prevent this from happening, because you can see down here below, it's starting to pull the plywood up off of the bolts. So this is the kind of damage I'm talking about. As you can see, the plywood has torn away from the bolted mud sill, which is severe damage. So right now I'm going to show you the hardware that is used to resist overturning. This right here is called a hold down. Now what happens is this is a piece of steel and it's right here and it's bolted to this end of the shear wall. So this right here is are two two by fours that come this way. So this piece of steel is bolted to that. And so what happens when the earthquake force tries to turn this way, it pulls up on these two by fours. Then those two by fours pull up on the pulled down on. And there's the bolt right here. And it's very, very deep, 12 inches deep into the concrete. And then, and it's glued to the concrete with very, very strong epoxy. And when it pulls up, it pulls up on the concrete. And because the concrete is so strong, it keeps the uh, shear wall from overturning. That's why the pulled down are so important. Here you see an actual tie down. This is the tie down. This piece of metal right here is connected to the framing right here. And then we have a bolt which is glued with epoxy down into the foundation right here. So the way this whole assembly work is a earthquake force tries to overturn the shear wall. That upward motion goes here into the framing. Then that upward motion tries to pull up on the hold down and then the hold down is attached to the foundation through this all thread right here, which epoxied into the foundation so that when the hold down pulls up, it pulls up on this threaded rod that pulls up on the concrete and the strength of the concrete keeps the shear wall from overturning. 